Hi ho neighbors, Rado Goji here, and welcome back to Squeeze the World uh, Lego Marvel Avengers. And when we last left off, um, we were helping out Agent Williams with a field Don't test of some uh, treasure hunting equipment. Um, big red here. And uh, yeah, that's no, pretty no, much. No, no, no. <laughs> and it's you know pretty obvious what it is. It's like two arrows come up, and the gold one points the correct way, and that led us to some treasure. I think you found the treasure. That wasn't too bad, was it? Shame nobody put the time into getting rid of those lying arrows, though. Hmm. I guess by that point they developed a more efficient and less expensive tracking device. Well, thanks for helping me try it out. Swordsman? Well, that wasn't a gold brick at all. I mean, I'm not going to complain about extra, uh, extra characters to use. I'm actually going to switch to Ultron before I unlock this guy, because... As much as I like Tony Stark, I don't think that we want to see his head pop up like every single time we want to swap a character. Um, actually, speaking of Tony Stark head... Okay, there. yeah, there's a Superior Iron Man. I guess when you unlock a new suit, you have to use it before it'll show up on the menu. But I'm going to be Hulkbuster. <laughs> because we haven't used Hulkbuster since the story, and I really like Hulkbuster. Can Hulkbuster fly? Yay, Hulkbuster can fly! Oh, man. And he can destroy shit. Went by walking into it, because he's a big guy. This is, like, worth the price of mission alone right here. Hell yeah. Um... Yeah, I'm just basically... This is, I know this is, again, this is Tuesday when you're, when you're probably seeing when this is getting uploaded, but this day is, Sunday is also Mother's Day, so... I hope you... Said hi to your mom, and, uh, you know, or equivalent. I don't know, uh, how, um, you know, if you have, like, it, if you have, like, two dads or something like that. If you, uh, celebrate, like, one is Mother's Day and one is Father's Day, or probably, in that case, probably a double Father's Day. I mean, I don't know. I don't have a, um, I don't have a, I don't have same-sex parents, so I don't, uh, I don't know how that works. Um... But, uh, you know, you know, let your mom know you love her and all that stuff. Um, I'm actually going to be going out to dinner with my parents in a bit. I figured I'd get this recording done because I was going to get the recording done yesterday and I'm stuck. I was going to get the recording done yesterday and that ended up... Oh, that is awesome! <laughs> okay, I'm sorry. I was going to get the recording done yesterday, but like I said, I got tired and uh, took a nap and... Yeah, then I was like, where did the time go? Um, and now I'm just here, uh, bringing up... I mean, I don't want to... I'm trying not to sound too controversial or anything like that. I'm trying to be, you know, um... I don't know, I don't know what I'm really trying to do. I'm just, I'm just, you know, curious as to how people celebrate. I guess, the, I guess if they have, you know, two dads, they'll just celebrate Father's Day twice as hard or something like that. Twice, twice as awesome. Buy twice as many presents <laughs> for the for one day. So I guess that would be Mother's Day if you have two moms. That would be um I'm gonna shut up now. I don't know how uncomfortable this is making people feel, and I do apologize if I if I did that. I I, I am genuinely curious as to as to how that works. Um You know. Stuff. Um, but I am going to be, oh, I, if I have time, I'm probably going to have time, you know, when I get home from, uh, seeing my parents and stuff, and, uh, um, even if I have some time after, uh, after recording here, I'm actually going to try something new, um, oh, I should probably turn the, the, uh, attract studs back on. No, no, not code. You can unlock the, the red bricks if you have, if you have special, like, cheat codes, but I don't do that, because... I'd rather just collect the bricks. I can put a disclaimer on this frickin' video now. I don't know, I don't see why I... I'm, I'm gonna do it just to be on the safe side, but... At least if you're stuck in the tight 
spot with the Hulkbuster there, you can do a super jump. Ooh, yeah, let's do, let's do that. I actually do want to see if I can get ten of these done so I can get the trophy, because it'll only work if you get them done in the same... Rural Pensatucky? That's not a place. I mean, I realize that Traveler's Tales is, is is made up of, uh, of, of Brits, but um, I'm fairly sure that they would know that Pensatucky isn't a real state. Alright, let's go back down south here and uh, see if we can... Because, like I said, my objective is to, you know, start from the southernmost point and work my way up. And I see a gold brick over here. Um, but yeah, I want to see if I can get, um, I know I don't have, like, super awesome equipment for it, but I'm going to see if I can, I can, you know, test out, like, how I would do with some toy reviews. Um, because that's one of the things I want to do for the, uh, the, uh, Raido Goji, like, review show thing I want to do. is one of the things I want to do is toys, but, um, kind of want to see how I do with that. Um, kind of, kind of an unscripted thing. I would have to set things up so that, because I have to use my phone as a camera. I don't have a regular camera yet. Uh, I also don't have any special super awesome lights, so I'm going to try to find a way to, you know, bring a lamp over. Because I have, like, kind of a, um, a standing lamp that I can probably move, and it has, like, like one of the spotlight, some of the spotlight things. So maybe that'll work out. Let's be Mark 45, and, um, wait for the suit to show up, and then fix this thing here, because this is obviously... It's obvious to me that this is how we're going to get the gold brick here. I want to unlock Silver Centurion, actually. I know Silver Centurion is in the game. And the thing with Silver Centurion, I think it looks cool. I know it's not as powerful as, like, you know, the Mark 45 or whatever, but... Um... The thing is, like, uh, the Silver Centurion was the, like, the pre-order bonus figure that you got with the game. Um, and I have that sitting on my desk at work with a hell of a lot of other LEGO things, as I've stated. Because LEGO Dimensions, until... I, I'm, 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 gonna, I'm, I'm gonna start playing LEGO Dimensions again, uh, probably this coming week, because, uh... Where's the, um, scan thing? Ultron, what are you doing? Are you... He's, like, shooting lasers and eating burgers. What does that have to do with anything? Oh, that's what the scan thing that made that appear. Okay. Let's say it didn't come up with the tablet interface. Let's fly up here and shoot it. Maybe it's like one of those things where you have to like shoot actual like bullets at it. Well, let's turn the Hawkeye or someone with a gun. Let's let's get Coulson out here. Coulson needs some. Uh... Oh, we don't want the destroyer gun. We want regular Coulson because he has a regular pistol. That's what we want to do. I also do want to, um, die while I'm playing as him so I can get a trophy. Though I don't know of any good ways to die around here. Alright, let's get Captain America out. Hit the shield switch. And there you go. Alright, so I think we're pretty much done with the Avengers facility area, but let's just go ahead and, uh... Explore up here, shall we? Let's actually find a way I can. <laughs> I don't really want to. I'm not going to permanently kill Agent Coulson. Agent Coulson is too cool to permanently kill. In fact, he doesn't even permanently die in the in the movie. If you've seen Agents of Shield, you'd know that because he's like the main character. And uh, at first, I didn't. And when I watched the movies, I didn't think much of Agent Coulson, but. Uh, I just thought, oh, he's just kind of a character who's there just to represent S.H.I.E.L.D. Um, but he's actually really cool. Um, I, I enjoy him quite a bit in, uh, in uh, Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. I don't think it's just because, you know... I mean, he's written really well, but I don't think that's just because of Joss Whedon. But although, you know, the fact that Joss Whedon is, the, like, the main guy in charge of Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. does help. It's like... Marvel or Universal or whoever's in charge of the movies is like, hey, you know what, Joss Whedon, you, we like the work you did, like in everything, including the Avengers. We're gonna put you in charge of uh, Agent Cole or Agent Coulson, the TV show. And he's like, okay. 
It's not really Agent Coulson the TV show. There are other agents of Shield, but Coulson's my favorite. Certainly like him more than Agent Williams, even though he's not in the show or anything. At least not from what I've seen. I've seen up to episode. I've seen up to uh, the end of season one. And um, damn it, timer on phone. It took away my option to keep it on for 15 minutes instead of 10 before it turns off. Um, I'm through season one because, like, I you know the whole me watching the MCU in because of phase one. I said, like I said, I, wa I watched in in production order, and I'm watching phase two in chronological order. Um, but, uh, the, where I am now, I, I finished, uh, season one of Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D., and then it goes on to the Guardians of the Galaxy. Um, but I learned that, um, at least with, as far as PlayStation Network is concerned, um, Guardians of the Galaxy and Age of Ultron and Ant-Man, I mean, I, I, I expect, I expected Ant-Man to not be rentable, because it's still a fairly recent movie, but you can't rent Guardians of the Galaxy or Age of Ultron either. You have to buy those in order to be able to watch them. And I don't have the money to be spending 15, 20 bucks on a movie I'm only going to be, you know, realistically at the moment only going to be watching once. Is that action y music? Well, here's a. Ooh, there's a chest over here. Let's blow up that. Oh, that's a blow up lock. Lock on that. Open. Open it. Oh, well, that was easy. Um. Can I? Does that count as me getting the trophy? No, it doesn't. I guess I have to be actually be playing as Coulson and die in order to be able to get the trophy. All right, the, the next time I come upon a... I'm getting so blogged about. Uh-oh, that sounds like a, like a crime in progress. I will find this crime as Coulson and then have the thugs beat me up. Oh, these tents are bopping about. Let's destroy these tents real quick and get a gold brick, because that's, that's going to be a thing. Three won't be in the way. Okay, there's three tents here, from what I can see. There's five tents total. Great. There's one right here. And, oh, there's one right here. Alright, let's get this brick. I'm gonna swap over to... Agent Coulson, and let these guys beat me up so I can get a trophy. Hey, buddies. Come on. Before Iron Man comes and kills you. There we go. A magical place. That'll make sense if you've seen the TV show. He's talking about Tahiti. Cheers. Alright, so that's... I think that's three... Busted Crimes, and... Now's as good a time as any to stop the video. So when we come back... More LEGO Marvel Avengers! I've been Radio Goji, and I'll be here next time. Join me, won't you?